for the last five years, your boy has been saving every single dime from all my touring on the road for one reason, one reason only. I'm buying my mother-in-law a house. She's the best. Brendan Schaub just bought his mother-in-law a house at a very convenient timing. He gets exposed for cheating on her daughter, so he finances a loan. Let's watch the first clip. What's up guys, today is one on the old bucket list. Not too many people know this, but for the last five years, your boy has been saving every single dime from all my touring on the road for one reason, one reason only. It's a big goal for anybody. Whatever you're doing, whether you're in entertainment, podcasting, YouTuber, regular gig, whatever it is, your goal always is to buy your parents a house. My kids are going crazy right now. My kids are going absolutely crazy. The goal is always to buy your parents a house. Well, today, all that hard work, all those tour dates, all that stuff, it's come to fruition. I'm buying my mother-in-law a house. She's the best grandma in the world. She has no idea this is happening. She's gonna pull up the house. I'm gonna give her the keys. So I wanna thank the fans out there for making this possible, buying every single ticket to all those crazy cities I was in, to the haters too. You motivate me more than you know, but I love you guys and Buying your mom a house is definitely a nice thing to do, so I find it hard to hate on the guy here. But given his track record of doing nice things in front of the camera, but then reneging, has me second guessing. Like that time he promised to pay for Ray Borg's son's surgery on JRE, when a GoFundMe already existed, essentially stopping anyone from donating to the GoFundMe since Schwab said he got it covered. After nearly a year of everyone shitting on him, he finally gets help from Joe's podcast sponsor to help him pay for it. Or that time he claimed to save the kids from the car crash, when in reality, he didn't save anyone. He pulled over for a few minutes and helped two moms that were already on the scene and then bailed before the cops arrived. So when he goes and buys his mom a house, I can't help but be suspect. Like, did he only do this because he was caught cheating on his wife dozens of time over the last few years. He's been buying Ferraris and Lambos, but couldn't buy his mother-in-law a house till now. And of course, you'll see Cuck Callan spend 30 minutes next episode massaging Papa's dick, telling him how good of a person he is. But let's watch him showing his mom the house he bought for her. I didn't even think about this. What if she doesn't like the house? Mama. Hi guys. What's going on? Hey. Hi Maple. You made it. <laughs> Mama. Yeah. This is your house. Yeah. That's why you guys are filming. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. You. She doesn't have. Mm -hmm. What she get for being the best grandma? That was so real and definitely not staged. And holy shit, she actually knows English. What I find funny is that he decided to buy a house now, with the highest house prices since the last housing bust and highest interest rate in years. And the American first home loan at the end is dicey too. I took a look at their website and it says you can purchase a home with as little as 0% down with financing. I imagine the interest rate is high as fuck too. If I had to guess, I'd say Bapa scraped together enough for the minimum down payment, which is still a nice gesture, but a relative relatively short-sighted attempt to distract his wife from the baddie situation. He probably went with the alternative lender because he probably has brutal debt ratio. And you know he's gonna hold this over his wife and mother-in-law's head. Now she'll be forever in debt to him so he can throw the chombies at her whenever he wants. No presents ever come from Baba without extreme strings attached or him rubbing it in your face any chance he gets. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.